Okay, welcome back. This is lesson 7.3. It's called Special Products of Polynomials, and you'll learn what that is in just a moment. Um, we're going to use the square of a binomial pattern and use the sum and difference pattern. So what this means, um, if you had a plus b squared, what that actually is, it means you have a plus b times a plus b. So you have two binomials multiplied together, okay? So now imagine one expression is up here, right? One expression is right here. When you multiply the two a's together, we did the table method um, along with the FOIL method and everything else in the previous video. So you can see kind of what's going on here. You have, but we have the same two terms. So you get a squared, you get a times b, a times b, and b squared. So we find that this is the pattern. Oops, I'm kind of cutting it off there, but you have an a squared, two of the a, b factors, and a b squared. If we have um, this right here, right? The only difference in the pattern is that the first uh, is a negative right here between the first two terms. So this had two positives, positive, positive. This has one negative. So this will get a little easier as we go. I don't always remember to use the right thing. All right. So again, your core concept, and it's also in your student journal on page 216. Um, when you have this, and it, it'll be a lot easier. So here's an example actually with numbers. So what we're doing is we're taking, so this is considered to be the first term A, and this is the second term B. So this is, replaces the A and the B in the algebra model. So we, we would have A squared. Well, that's X squared. Then we're going to have 2 times A times B, and then plus B squared. So it's just a shortcut instead of having to either make a table or do FOIL or double distributive or anything like that. It's just a pattern for you to recognize. In the subtraction model, now you're going to count this 2x as the entire term of a. So you'll have 2x squared. And remember, with the exponent rules, 2 squared x squared becomes 4x squared. Then you have 2 times a times b, so 2 times 2 times 3 times x behind subtraction, right? And then you have this 3 squared, which is 9. So let's take a look. So let's see it happen. So 3x squared, just kind of like in that last example. Now, the good news about this is the shortcut is going to be, you're going to see this, and hopefully you'll get to the point where it'll be like, oh, okay. So instead of writing it out, right, because you could write this out, you could do this. And write that out and foil it, make a table, double distributive, whatever you want to do, and show all the work. Or you can say, oh, look, this is a, um, square of a binomial, and so I can just take a squared, which is going to be 9x squared. 2 times 3 is 6 times 4 is 24x, right, because there's that x term, and then 4 squared, 16, and kind of get to the trinomial quickly. If it is subtraction, the only difference is right here. So you're still taking the square of the first term, so 5x squared would be 25x then 2 times 5 is 10 uh, times 2 is 20. Oh, and then you have x and y, a little more difficult. And then the last term is negative 2y squared, so it becomes positive 4, I'm sorry, negative 2y, and then you're going to square the whole thing, it becomes positive 4y squared. So, all right, okay. I want to point out on this slide right here, you know, you may need to I think there might be some homework problems tomorrow relating with the two variables. So don't let the two variables scare you, and I will be there to help you. Okay. All right. So remember the pattern is going to be we have um, like this. Uh, we have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, and for subtraction, a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So the first term is the a term, right? And this is the b term, okay? So this is the pattern right here. All right, so a squared plus 2 times a times 3 plus 
3 squared. So I'm just writing it out for you so that you understand how we're applying this pattern. And that's all it is. It's a shortcut pattern that we're teaching you to the multiplication or FOIL or double distributive. So then you'll get 6a plus 9. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video to do number 2 and understand that the pattern will have subtraction. All right. And then I'll go ahead and work it out. So I see the first term is b squared and then minus the 2 times b times 2 plus 2 squared. So b squared minus 4b plus 4 should have been what you got. Okay. <clears throat> now we're using the sum or difference pattern. Um, so to find the product of, if you have x plus 2 times x minus 2, if you did the FOIL, this is what it would turn out to. And these two middle terms would basically cancel each other out. So this is the pattern right here. You get a squared minus b squared, okay? a squared minus b squared. So when we see this, we know that we can simply, you know, you're because pretty soon we're going to be factoring. So we'll be able to take this and factor it back to this, or we can see this. And instead of doing FOIL, say, oh, that's easy. I can take the a squared and then subtract the b squared. All right. And that's what we're trying to do today. Make it pretty simple. So here you see the pattern, t plus 5, t minus 5. So we know that's going to be a t squared minus 5 squared. t squared minus 5 squared is t minus 25. t squared minus 25, sorry. Here, 3x squared minus y squared becomes the product. So 9x squared. Let's go ahead. So here we go. So remember the pattern a squared minus b squared. Now there's only one. We don't have an a squared plus a b squared, right? Um, and that's if it's the exact same thing, but opposites. All right. So x squared minus 3 squared becomes x squared minus 9. Simple, straightforward. Go ahead and pause the video and do number 13. This becomes 5 a squared minus 1 squared, so 25a squared minus 1. All right, that pretty much sums it up. If you have any questions, be sure to ask either through email or in class in person.